M0 FXP Hamtech, welcome to my videos on the Uniden SDS100 and 200. Avera Distributing have been resolving just a couple of bugs with the new Waterfall firmware for the SDS100 and 200. And they've given solutions here on the right hand side uh, regarding AM modulation and saying that with digital scanning to prevent freezing it would be better to select the actual mode so for example instead of selecting auto you would select fm or am and but now they've come up with the new firmware so we're going to download this using this link here which is the eu model so we're just going to click here on the sts 200 first and download that software and the file is called the SDS Sentinel version 2.05.03 zip. It's really important that you do get the correct one, uh, otherwise it's not going to work. So as you can see it's just there, I'm going to click it and I'm going to run this in the normal way. You can see my two radios there, the SDS 100 and 200, so double click. And the loading the firmware is, re once you've got the Sentinel software running it's very simple We're just going to agree and just go next until this opens up and there you are we'll close that and we should have it if we click the windows squares at the bottom there it is there sds sentinel that will now open up Once you've fired up the software, just connect your USB cable. I'm doing the SDS 100 now because I've already done the 200. And you can see the 200 is working great. So you plug it in and you'll get the option with the E, press enter. So I've just done. Like so. And then we're going to go update firmware. And it knows it, select OK. It's downloading everything it needs to do. And then you'll see the messages come through shortly. Just fast forward if it's a bit boring. Writing firmware file to scanner. Usual PC's unmount function to unmount the scanner. Press and hold the power key to start the update. Do not unplug the USB. Okay. I'm going to go OK. So I'm going to press and hold the power key. And then you can see the firmware is going in. And it was exactly the same with the SDS 200. It actually didn't tell me to press the power on that one. It actually just told me to plug in and unplug the, the USB. But you can see the firmware is going in and then what we're going to do we're going to look at the version firmware on both devices to show you its work so just press while we're doing this press menu and I'm sort of hovering over the laptop at the moment so menu turn it backwards settings scanner information firmware and that's the that's what it's showing now. Hopefully that's the right one. Um, but we will check. But the, the everything is working. And then we'll do the same here. We'll go menu. Backwards. Click down. Backwards. Scanner information. And there you are. That's what we're seeing. Hopefully that helps you load your firmware for your STS200E model. 7.3. All the best.